Meantime tonight, Democrats in Congress leading a protest against the ban at the Supreme Court at this hour. And it comes on the eve of what is President Trump's most high stakes appointment, a new Supreme Court judge. ABC's Terry Moran covers the court. He's there tonight. And Terry, back to the ban, several challenges. Where does this stand? Is the president's immigration and travel ban legal? Well, David, that question could well end up here at the Supreme Court where these protests took place. And an amazing development just a few minutes ago, the acting attorney general of the United States, Sally Yates, she's an Obama appointee. She says she won't defend this executive order in court because she says it's not lawful. That said, what President Trump wants to do here is much of it within his powers as president. The president has sweeping powers over who does and doesn't get into the country. President Obama suspended admissions from Iraq. President Jimmy Carter banned Iranians in 1980. Now, this was developed so hastily and so sloppily uh, that it is possible that, uh, that, that, uh, that the question of whether or not this favors Christians would violate the Establishment Clause, but presidents have huge power over the borders.